currently it's about like 10 45 a.m it's sunday today and the weather in melbourne is absolutely beautiful it's so freaking sunny and i'm outside of jun's place waiting for him because today we'll be exploring camberwell sunday market together and i thought it'd be a great idea to vlog and take you guys along with me oh i hear him coming out Hi! So, so the Camberwell Sunday Market is actually a flea market that has been operating for the past many many years and it opens from 7am until 12pm so I'm not sure whether we'll find anything nice because you know the early bird gets the worm and it's almost 11pm right now but hopefully we can still find some interesting stuff so yeah let's go! So the market actually can range from 4 vendors to about 200 vendors in a day. I just checked Instagram and it seems like today there are quite a lot of vendors selling stuff. Hopefully it's gonna be an interesting journey. We'll see you there. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> I've made it. Currently, there are quite a lot of stores. So this market is really near the train station. It's about like five minutes walk right next to Kmart. A mistake that we both made is that we didn't bring any cash with us, so we can't shop for anything. If you are coming to the flea market, make sure to bring cash with you. Huskies are one of the most beautiful dogs on this planet, like change my mind, you can't change my mind. Right now, we're on the way to the fresh food market which is literally just right next to the flea market is it open? <gasps> it's not open on Sundays! Oh. No. Eh. Right now we're at Minimax which is a store just right next to the flea market and we're taking a look around. They sell random stuff here. This is so cute. Oh my god, look how cute these mugs are. I love these pastel colors. And this is so tiny, oh my gosh. They sell a set of spices for $179. Yeah, including the stand and everything. I'm not gonna lie, I slept really late last night, so I'm honestly kind of very sleepy right now. Oh my gosh, they have a potato smasher, but it's freaking $39. You know, the other day I made like mashed potato, but then I had to use my fork to like freaking smash it, and I got so lazy halfway, so like some parts of my mashed potato were like chunky. Like, this is pretty cool. It's convenient, but it's so expensive. Maybe it's a good brand, I don't know. Good cooking utensils are very expensive. Yeah. Okay, but what is the point of a strawberry slicer? No point. I mean, I guess you might need it if you're like opening like a cafe or something. You want the you know efficiency, yeah, efficiency yeah. and the like aesthetic, perfect. Aesthetic? Nah. No, I mean if you Probably make cakes, right? Only. Nor if you make cake to sell, obviously you need like nice presentation. So you need yeah, like yeah, yeah, you need but... like you need the strawberry to be equal <laughs> in size. People got skill just. The things here are pretty pricey. Now we're on our way to Kmart to see if we can buy any like cooking utensils. June, let's go. Sabrina, let's go. <laughs> it, this, this is how she vlogs. Oh, you so, so like... Change of plans. We're not at Kmart. We're at Office Works because he wants to buy some notebooks. It's to check things out. This is so freaking cute. This is a budget planner. Look at how cute that is. And this is a gratitude planner. I love cute notebooks, but the thing is I can't own them because if they're too cute, I just can't bear to use them. Okay, the budget planners are so cute. I just looked at it. The thing is, it's almost $25, so as much as I really want to buy it, I'm trying to save money here, so maybe I might buy something similar online, but I really like how it's like designed and everything. It's really cute. And I think it's good to own one, especially for next year when I'm like graduated from uni and everything, so you know, I need to be more responsible with my spending. They even sell Instax camera here and I've always wanted to buy one of these smartphone printer but it's kind of expensive so I've never really had the chance to. 
Why is electronic devices so expensive? Two ninety nine per kg. Isn't that cheaper than Woolworths? Yeah. But it's so big, you know. I just can't finish it. This is the most ginormous eggplant I've ever seen. Ooh. Have you ever seen eggplants this big? I've never. Ooh. Have you ever? Ooh, yeah, yeah. You have? Yeah. Are they always this big? Yeah. I no, guess some are not big. This is humongous. This is the most biggest I've ever seen. <laughs> but oh, eggplant. Do you think this can fit? June is looking for a peeler right now. Yes. I mean, oh, should I buy a peeler? Maybe I need it too. Like we found the pillar. Oh, I found the pillar. Oh, pillar. I'm changing my color to pink because June freaking chose blue after I chose blue. Like he wants to copy me so bad, so what I have to change mean? color. Super cute cat mug. I miss my cat. I need this is the one. This is a potato smasher. Yeah. You asked the staff. Yeah. Wow. It's so this big. Is, this just looks like a spatula. So <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't know either. Where did you find it? Oh, it's hidden here. The one just now was small and it was like convenient and it does the job. This is quite big, but oh yeah, okay. You know, beggars can't be choosers, so I'm gonna go with this one. So I finished cooking and I'm so tempted to eat but I'm trying my best not to. I'm gonna pack my stuff, go buy some boba and then head to St. Kilda Beach and I'm gonna take you guys along. So I just crossed that bridge over there and I'm gonna be honest, I'm terrible with heights so that was actually really scary for me. I think it's about 3 p.m. right now. The sun is really bright. It's a sunny, sunny day. I love St. Kilda so much. It's exactly as how I remembered. I can see the ocean, so I'm just gonna find a spot where I can eat my lunch because I'm hungry. There's also a ferris wheel over there. I love the sight of the ferris wheel. Like in 2019 when I came here, um, it was like during the evening time, so it was like really cold, but now it's perfect. And I also freaking love the palm trees behind me. That's the ferris wheel. Okay, right now, I'm going to find a spot to sit at because I feel like I keep going on the wrong direction. Look at the harbour. Do you just not love the sight of like the ocean? I've always dreamt of owning an apartment near like the harbour where you can like kind of see the sea view. Heading to that direction. Planning to make like a seating area in the St. Kill up here. Wow. 
I literally just can't get over the city view and like the glistening water. I think it's so so beautiful. I just realized how big St. Kilda Beach is. 